Okay, all right, initially I've scrubbed my hands, right? Or I've done the aseptic technique, okay? I have donned all of my procedures. We're gonna pretend shoe covers are on, okay? I've got my hat and my mask, and originally I would wear my lead glasses to reset myself from radiation, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna inspect my pack. It better not have any tears, defects in it. Maybe it got cut while they were open the box, I don't know. I'm gonna check the expiration date to make sure that it's still good, okay? All right, so I'm gonna open it. Pull it out. This is trash. Keep your inventory sheet in case anything's missing. All right. I'm going to turn around and what am I going to open first? I'm going to open the flap furthest away from me first. Okay. So tear it. Open it. Pull it down. You can touch here because initially this is going to hang off the side of your table. Okay. Pull it down. You're going to maintain a two inch buffer the whole time because you're not sterile yet. All right. Same thing. Pull it down. I'm going to line it up because I want the absorbency of the drape to be in line with my table as much as possible. And I've got my sterile gloves. Then I'm going to do the aseptic scan technique again. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab my gown. My circulator or a teammate's going to come help tie me up. Okay. I'm going to do closed glove. Closed glove is my hands stay inside of the little um, cup. I can go ahead and see if right now. Open glove is they would be outside the cup. Okay. Make them dance with me. Somebody's going to go ahead and throw me my manifold kit. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, while she's done with my manifold kit, I'm going to set this up in the order that I know that the doctor comes in. The doctor in this room is going to come in from the monitor station. His lead is hanging up right there. And originally I would have the doctor's glove, okay? So the doctor gets his set of gloves, the gown, sterile towel. All right, I'm going to move all this over here. This is how I set my table up. I'm going to take all these extra towels. I'm going to put them here for now. I know I keep one for here for my access little kit. One for here for flushing my manifold, okay? These are going to be your x-ray shields. They're going to throw the eye eye, the x-ray shield, and then one of these is going to be my trash bag, okay? Sake, and like your room, we're going to get rid of this one and we're going to keep this one, okay? So I'm going to take this off. It's all about preference. Take it down, comes in the pack for after the procedure. Chloroform, I'm going to go ahead and put them out of here in my way. I'm going to undrape all my galls because eventually I will probably hoard them and use them. Everything's going in my trash. These are the one over here. All right, manifolds right here. Labels are ready to rock and roll. I'm going to set my medicine cups up. Ooh, I got lucky and got three. One's most likely going to be for lidocaine. It has to be. 
One's going to be for nitro, one's probably going to be for a radial cocktail and or heparin, depending on what you get or what you need, okay? Alright, I'm going to put my sharps out of my reach because I do not want to stick myself later during the procedure. And now I'm just going to kind of gravitate and clean my table off from here on over, okay? So, manifold. Your first line is your AO line, okay? It's measuring your pressure in your transducer. We're going to tighten every port, okay? Actually, you can get rid of this if you want to. We're going to leave that open because we're going to flush. We're going to tighten this. I'm going to pull this out. You can keep this down here. It lets you can control if you want to. Once they hook it into the pressurized heparinized sailing bag, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so I'm going to drag that off. This is my contrast burette. I'm going to take this cap off just to be nice to my nurse. I'm going to hand it off right here too. I'm going to make sure it's tightened as well. And this is my port where I can give IC mints, I can draw sets, ACTs, but it's also my waist because I have a one-way bow, okay? These are clips. These just help you kind of clip the drape belt. We're going to go over that later. This is your extension tubing to the end of this port. It gives you a little more leeway between you and your patient when it's connected to your catheter. You can go ahead and open that and pull that out. This is your drainage syringe for your heparin assembly bag. When it's cheap, I told y'all to use this as an anchor. Get rid of that. I'll hand that there for my nurse too. And then I'm also going to put a bunch of syringes in here to use it as an anchor too. Nothing's labeled yet because I don't have any medicines or any um, fluids poured to label, okay? But I know that I'm going to have water pain, probably nitro and heparin. Set my hemostats up. Usually the doctor only prefers one. They don't really prefer the curve tip. You can keep it if you want to or not. Uh, the blade has doctor preference to either set it out or don't. doesn't matter. I know most doctors don't like it. And then I usually dump my lidocaine needles and my lidocaine cup. It's just one more reminder for me. This is a dead ender if you need it. And this is your control syringe right here. This is your marker to label your labels correctly. And voila, your table is set. Okay? All right, pause.